Welcome back to Primetime News. Special welcome to the folks watching on OneSpotMedia.com. Now, two persons are dead and another man battling for life in a hospital after fire damaged two houses in Westport St. Catherine today. Residents unsuccessfully tried to rescue the victims, but the occupants could not find the keys for locked grills. TVJ's Kalisha Williams reports. An early morning fire. It started around 1 o'clock, gutting two houses on Powered Fish Way in Westport St. Catherine. Residents frantically trying to save the persons trapped inside. Yeah. We're told by the time the fire unit arrived, 25-year-old Tevin Clark Henry and Melissa Doyle were already dead. When I was in my house, um, I hear an explosion and I came out. And I realized that my neighbor was on fire. He was a good friend of mine. A third man suffered severe burns and was removed from the inferno by firefighters. One woman told us the persons trapped inside could not escape the inferno because they could not find the keys to their locked grill. When we arrived in the community Friday afternoon, the bodies were still inside the house. Head of the St. Catherine South Police explained that the firefighters left the scene quickly to help with another fire in Spanish Town. So when the crime scene investigators arrived, they could not enter the property because of the heat. This is as far as the crime scene investigators could get hours later. Firefighters were again called to help. But as the relatives consoled each other, concerns over the response time of the emergency personnel. One of the things that I have recognized or heard the, re the residents saying is that the fire brigade took some time to get here because they couldn't find the location. Again, I'm using this medium to make a public appeal to the powers that be. I mean, it is 2019. I believe it is time that all emergency vehicles should be equipped with GPS technology. Understanding the situation that you cannot entirely respond to all situations with the resources that we have but at least put us in a position where we can adequately handle the current situation. However, when we spoke with a firefighter on the ground, he indicated that the team responded within minutes of getting the call. We were also told that the smoke was enough to lead the emergency team to the inferno. Then concerns over the way in which houses in Westport are built. Why is it that Westport is still a fire hazard? It is because the foam and the aluminum on the roof them and the house them are joined together. You see what happened a while ago? The fire burned this side and extend to the other side, the other person's property. When you look at the size of Portmore and how Portmore is growing, the one fire station cannot work in Portmore. Portmore need at least three fire stations for now. A lit candle is said to be the cause of the fire. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News.